right there. Yeah, I'm already. I'm already. I prefer the term that. glistening. Yeah. Glistening. What you gotta do, very... Welcome, everybody, to Clickbait Sports, June 9th, 2022. We have the most interesting punishment for you. Oh, my gosh. Could you, could you stop? <laughs> I, I'm, I'm distracted. I feel like Ryan. <laughs> That's how the dudes do it in the gym, huh, boys? That's right. Yeah, I feel like it's nine day, guys. Going to be nice today. Yes, it's going to be a beach body pump today oh, yeah. brandon if you don't know if you weren't here last week brandon was punished by having to do this entire stream as a workout so he will not be participating <laughs> directly in the chat i mean he can hear us obviously and brandon <laughs> explain sweet. how the charity works and what it's you're scared. going to do when it comes to that all right so i've got the alzheimer's association which uh we've raised money for it's my personal link Trying to get to $25,000 today. So for every 100, I do 10 pull-ups. We've already done $185. So that's 18 and a half pull-ups I owe. I chose pull-ups because I hate them. They're really hard. <laughs> so it's going to hurt. Yeah. Uh, so donate through the links, not through the Super Chats. But whatever Super Chats I get, I'll throw in there. But just use the link below so I can track it. And uh, I can see how many go on. No, because there's there's other tiers that I, I heard about a shirt oh, yeah, yeah. and that. So because, folks, let's just make this very clear here. Brandon raising for a great cause here. And and how much for the shirt for the yeah, pink shirt? For the shirt? We get halfway there. We raise a thousand. I switched. Okay, so you were two Ooh, grand away. Right. So we that were at twenty three, right twenty five. So if he raises a thousand dollars within this hour, he switches to the pink shirt. If he raises two thousand dollars through those links, the shirt comes off entirely. Comes off. Mm -hmm. Boom! Ratings go through the okay. roof. Okay. Oh, yeah. Demonetization Shirtless. here. That's it, folks. Come. So donate through the links in the description. A hundred percent is going to this fantastic it. organization of charity. And if we raise two thousand dollars, Brandon Perna is going to be doing the entire workout shirtless, which everybody and their mother wants to see. The link is yeah. pinned to my chat for Brandon. So, so if you're in my chat, it. look at the pin. Look and at if it, we get to a point where I can't do any more pull-ups, I will switch to push-ups. I will switch to curls. We're doing a full body workout today. Going to focus line. on the glutes. Yeah. Let's go as well. Also, yeah. Brandon, you, can, you are looking pretty swole already. Like, oh, are yeah. you down here routinely? Is this is is this is what happens when you have a baby from just carrying the baby around all day? Yeah. You just get swole. It's just lifting the baby. Babies oh give my. you biceps. Everybody, listen. Does. I'm the only person here that has been in that basement and also worked out with Perna in the exact same basement. I will tell you that Brandon gets after it when he. Oh works yeah, out. he does. I feel like he, he does get after. I forgot about the tea rug. <laughs> he also has a his basement is huge and he also has a bathroom like right there, so you can his just basement you know, is huge. Drop Ooh, a hot clip that. We right. also Sorry. hold on. I, I I guess I need to host. We also have a special <laughs> guest today, Ben Lepper, who was at the draft. As a participant with Make a Wish, will be joining us after we get through this opening segment. I'm going to run down the show so that uh, everyone stays for the entire time. That's what we do is trap people as they donate. <laughs> We're going to talk about how the Texans might be added to the Deshaun Watson lawsuit. This whole thing is getting uglier by the day. We have the Stanley Cup playoffs. I've got a very interesting bet for both of you, Brandon and Cameron. We mm -hmm. might have to bet that. And also, why aren't the Warriors winning the NBA Finals? It's really completely perplexing to me. I thought that they'd be up 3 nothing by now, but mm. that's how we go. All right, let's bring in Ben. Ben, I, the first what? thing I see when I just walk in is Pern is literally on an exercise. <laughs> mm -hmm. like, look at it. normal. Is that a Peloton, Brandon? No, it's the Nordic track. Because it's, oh. it's a Nordic track. Man, we you need to get Nordic afford. to sponsor this stream. Nordic, if you're watching, you know what to do. Stop playing. Yeah, he couldn't afford the Peloton. But Ben, you were at the draft. Who did you get to announce? As you uh, I was Taekwon Thornton, 50th overall. So, uh, Mr. Nice. Mr. Man, go fast. Yeah. So, tell us about that experience. Was it just? Wait, baby. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yes. Um, so you guys have already met Sam and everything. Sam and I were there together that whole time. Yeah. We uh, we met Cam uh, the night one. I It was me, I think. I Sam tell me, that's Scooter Magruder up there. And I'm like, no, nah, it doesn't <laughs> look like him. And so he gets me to yell, Scooter. <laughs> the dude turns around. I'm like, oh, God, it's actually him. I messed up. Yeah. And then he walks over. <laughs> I've and lost weight. Here. I've lost weight. But now <laughs> we're here. I wasn't going to say, but like you looked a little skinnier. <laughs> 16. <laughs> listen. Respect. Listen, guys, I'm not dying. For everyone, wa- I just lost weight, okay? 16-8 intermittent fasting. It works. It's Juice cleanse? A little, little high colonic? Like, these people are wild. Like, what? Are, are y'all okay? I'm I'm okay. I promise. We're good. Brandon's already Partner, We're like six there. minutes into the show. You're tired already? <laughs> All right. Uh, <laughs> our guest, can we... By the way, we almost raised almost five hundred dollars already. Already, let's, so let's, let's go. get the attention back on Ben, though. Yeah, so because he's here addition, to talk yeah. about his experience. So draft yeah. night, take us through everything for your draft night. You're getting ready to make this pick. Let's back up, though. Why do you like the Patriots of all teams? Uh, I live just outside Boston, so there's your answer. Uh, I was brought up a Pats fan, um, and. Uh, I guess it's sort of a locale thing, but, you know, the more that they win and the more that I get into football, I started to realize this is a pretty good team to be a fan of. And I know everyone hates us. I don't care. Like, you can hate us if you want. I got booed on stage. I'm going to make a wish, kid. Like, I, I almost <laughs> died two years ago. They booed me on stage. Like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> what? They booed you on stage. NFL they fans. booed me hard. I got, I got, I literally had to pause. That so is revenge on stage. fuel. You right hear those there. boos. What's what's going through your mind as you make this pick? You see, people are celebrating Sam's pick. Now you're up. You're getting booed. What's going through your mind, Ben? It's because I have a navy blue jersey and not a light blue one. It's true. It's all. I mean, I I I love the boos. I love the attention. I just if I'm if I'm getting people boo me, I did something right. That's what I think. There you now, go. Now uh, I go. think they were just booing your team. They were not booing you personally. No, oh, absolutely yeah. not booing me personally. But I mean, I represent a hated franchise, and uh, um, I I understand that. Why do you think the Patriots are hated? Let's let's start there. I can think of one, two, three, four, five, six reasons. Wow. Okay. Uh, in the wow. past twenty years, mm-hmm. I'm gonna more that question. Oh, well, a tree, not a word out of you. All right. I know you're sick <laughs> as well. Not a word out okay. of you. Okay. I like this okay. guy. Okay. All right. Uh, ben, of the do. other thing, did you meet Goodell at all? I know I met, him. I met a lot of people backstage, actually. They brought me back at around pick 40 because we all knew the Pats were, you know, going to trade up, obviously. They always do. We we not, we not didn't trade up to, like, 46. We went to 50, but uh, they brought me back early. So there were a lot of people backstage. Goodell was one of them who was actually, believe it or not, a very nice guy in person. Uh, I was trying not to puke backstage. I was just that nervous. And <laughs> he was, he somehow managed to calm my nerves to a level where I was just really? ready to go at that point. Really great guy in person. That's awesome. Which celebrity did you see backstage or who was there where you actually were starstruck? I know yeah. there's plenty. Oh, yeah, you were just too. like, hold up. Like, where you had to stop. I mean, I know you kind of get used to seeing pe- famous people when you're around yeah. them, but who, do, who stopped the show for you? Who stopped the show for me? Um, Santana Moss is a great guy as well. Like he, so I was in a green room for a while, and usually I had to go up to people and introduce myself. Or in the case of a player who I'm not going to name, but he's a receiver on one of your teams, he, I asked him if he was who he was. He said no, and he left. We don't have any. <laughs> so, <laughs> it wasn't me. I know it wasn't my team. We don't have any. But you knew who he was. About your team, but. But you knew what? he was that person, and oh, he still I knew he said was no. The dude straight up lied to me and left. But then after I make the pick, he daps me up, and we're like, "Oh, we're best friends now." All right, right, but, right. Um, now that you know who I wow. am. Right? Wow. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Dang, I could have just been like, "No, I'm not Scooter Magruder," and kept walking. Dang. Yeah. Okay. So, but backstage, you know, Santana Moss actually came up to me, and he's like, "What are you nervous about?" He showed me his card. Uh, and he had to announce a dude named Fedarian. So I <laughs> knew I was in good hands because he did it well, and I would have been fine no matter what. That is awesome. That's phenomenal. That is awesome. Um, I was going to ask who disappointed you the most, but I think, I think uh, Chase Claypool. That's who it was. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, 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 honestly, that kind of sounds like Chase Claypool. That's so very sure on that. brand. Yeah. Probably because of your jersey. He was, <laughs> yeah. you know, he might have uh, flexed on you a little Heck bit. Nah. <laughs> That does sound okay. like him. 
So I'm not surprised. Uh, I thought it would either be him or George Pickens, to be completely honest with you. Pickens wasn't there, uh, but yeah. believe it or not, you know, he picked Pickens. So I was like, all right, you guys have fun together. I'm going I'm to go back to my seat. <laughs> Bye. <Bye-bye. laughs> what was the climax of the whole draft for you? Because I was there. We got to do some dope stuff. I was there with Subway. Did you get to go around, like, the different – Areas where you are, I was there, yeah. The red I ran carpet, over. like what, yeah. what, like tell the let's set it up get for a these sandwich. people who weren't there, yeah, yeah. I was uh, actually, <laughs> I didn't go to that red carpet. I, I uh, was back. You, you okay, Perna? You good? Oh. Uh, I was, <laughs> that was a hernia, was actually. I was backstage <laughs> at an ESPN shoot with uh, with Sam for a bit, but I didn't go to the red carpet. Uh, but the whole thing was really cool. They took an entire parking lot. They built like a little draft town all over it in a way. And, uh, you know, there, you could run a 40. I actually – I'm not going to tell you my time because it was embarrassing. Uh, you could kick a Better field goal, which <laughs> – you probably did better than me, man. My 40 time when we were out in Vegas, uh, it was in the sixes. So you can okay, so I was in the sixes as well. So. Any slower <laughs> than me. I'll tell I you was that. in the fives. MMG did beat me, but I do want a rematch. MMG, MMG is fast. <laughs> okay, I that's all I got to say. I'm not playing MMG. I want a rematch. But Ben. Think, yeah, what's up? The draft has come. The draft has gone. You've been following along with the Patriots, though. What are you feeling like the vibe could be for this season? Like, what, what are what's the record for the Patriots this season? Give us a prediction. What do you see happening for us? Um, we have a we have an interesting record this year. We got a bunch of night games. I'm gonna I'm gonna say somewhere in the nine to ten win range. I'm not expecting you know greatness this year. That we're we're currently rebuilding. We got a second year QB, bunch of young you know people at receiver. We need we need to figure ourselves out before we even try to make the playoffs again because we all saw what happened last year and everyone loved it except us so what i tom you good? i have nothing to stand on i just like i have to like <laughs> clap at something like like at least you guys are like you know scoring offensive touchdowns it's fine <laughs> i i have to ask you ben officially here on june 9th over under for mac jones hitting a gritty i'm gonna set it at three how many times he hits the gritty next year? Overtimes two. Okay, so you're gonna do you're gonna say six gritties? I'm gonna say at least six gritties for Mac Jones. He's gonna hit six gritties. Chat, join mm. in. Six? More six gritties. Gritties. Six gritties. Right. Let, let us know. Chat. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna come back to you and we're everyone gonna, saw, we're gonna everyone saw that. how viral he went during the Pro Bowl. There's no way he doesn't build off that. It's true. Well, well, how, would you rate, like just breaks how would his you rate kneecap. his gritty though? How would you it rate felt it? felt like Max a great guy. I love him, but it felt like, you know, a dad doing a gritty. I'll give it a seven out of 10. That's fair. It felt like me doing a gritty. Is what that is fair. Yeah. Now, Ben, um, let us know, like for the future, what, it, what's the future like for you? What are the dreams? What are the aspirations? Where can people follow you? Do you do sports content? Do you want to start getting into this? Let us know what's, what's so, going on. Well, I was sick with, unfortunately, leukemia a couple of years ago. Oh, uh, what gosh. I got into really, was not only sports content, which is what I said earlier, you guys helped me through so much. Like it was tree I discovered first. I watched a lot of your videos in the hospital. And then I found out the rest of you slowly over time. So Tom as well, five points, all five of you. I've spent lots of time watching your videos and it helped me through days of treatment. So what I want to say is thank you. But it wasn't just you guys. It was also actual broadcasters, you know, taking people from their living rooms to the actual game themselves. It helped me feel like, you know, I wasn't sick for a little while. So I really want to get into sports broadcasting or media, something like that. Try to be that person for someone else one day, because I know how it feels to be stuck in a hospital room for months. And it's all of a sudden, you know, haters guide to the 2019 NHL playoffs comes on. I watched that video religiously. I watched, you know, reaction to game three of Toronto Raptors versus gold state warriors religiously jordan love reaction watch it religiously you know daniel jones reaction religiously Pernas has got a bunch of <laughs> what? you watch oh. a uh f you tom brady videos religiously <laughs> <laughs> i chose not to watch those <laughs> that is fair now where can people to those. you have like yeah, a channel wait, wait, wait. if the patriots win the super bowl again with mac jones i will make you a very mac jones friendly Super Bowl hype video to make up for all of the shit I've talked about. Your team. Uh, 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 I don't exactly uh, love your team either. It's okay. 
I like I like I mean, this kid. All right, us, you're going Randy somewhere. Back. Give us Randy Gregory back. Uh, ben, ben, giving you props. Where can by people the way. follow you though? Where's the channel? Where's the podcast? If you where's the Twitter? Let us know. I don't do sports content right now. I actually am a music producer on the side. So you can follow me at, at I'm Cloud Cage. I will, uh, I'll type that into any chats I can find. Spell it out and I'll type it in all the chats. So it's at I M C L O U D C A J E. Oh, C A G E. I am. I am. I'll say in the private chat. I'm. There you go. Got it. Cloud cage. Got it. Cloud cage. Got it. Got it. For those of you choosing EDM, I make progressive house music over there. Progressive house. All right. I just followed you on Twitter, so please follow me back, so I so I don't have to unfollow. I only follow. I will go ahead and do that for all of you. All right. Thank you so much for coming by, Ben. We love to have you back during the season. You and, guys are the uh, best. Yeah. Thank you so much for having me. Keep uh, doing what you're doing. Keep helping people, even if you don't mean to. It's it means the world to me. It means the world to everyone. Thank right, you. Much love. Oh, Thanks, Ben. Ben. Thanks for joining oh, us. Yeah. Thanks, Ben. Right. Are you gonna make the baby do push-ups? Is that Ben was oh, great, by the way. Let's give a Can we get some taps for Ben? ben. Let's get some W's in the oh, chat for Ben, though. W's in the chat for Ben. ben. Thank you. Jesse. All right. What's going on? Brandon, can you gritty? Child. I gotta know. Can you hit a gritty? No, I don't even know how where to start. It's the easy. It's a two step, and then it. Anyways, it's it's very easy. But uh, uh, Brandon, no. I, we're getting a lot of requests for squats. I feel like that's not weighted down. Can I do it? Squats. Squats. Yeah, I, I, there are people requesting squats in the chat. All right, we're gonna squat squats in. It is one thousand one hundred and ninety-five dollars away from his total goal. One hundred and ninety-five dollars away from changing into a pink shirt. And a reminder that every one hundred dollars means ten pull-ups. Nice. How many pull-ups? Thirty pull-ups, by the way. Just he's put in <laughs> on the douche see. count board. I'm at thirty, guys. How much? How many away from the pink shirt? I might. I might. Need He's one hundred ninety-five dollars away. There you go. Here they come. Five dollars. Feel the burn, just, Brandon. Burn look at him that. just bang these. Lifting. Pull up now. Oh, look at yeah. that. While There's he's a baby baby. ignoring his child. Adjustable dumbbell. I see Je Jessica's in the background, so we're Jess. positive role model, we're dude. Fine. Hey, what's yes. up? We got a Jess Friday. Sinclair's excited. He's going to show him how to work out. <laughs> She's in better shape than you, Brandon. It's the whole family's working out. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I still we, work we need out to family. do this. You're going to have a YouTube channel with 2 million subscribers and then blow it all on cocaine. I'm still <laughs> blown away. <laughs> no, no. Something that cute could come out of Brandon Pernal. It, it is wild. It is wild. Yeah, Five. What, what's next? Get us back on track. All right, let's get back on track here. The uh, Houston Texans uh, might be added to the Deshaun Watson lawsuit. Now, um, as you all know, if you're a sports fan and you've been fo if you're a fan of the NFL, you've been following this story. Um, an, a New York Times article comes out that says that the Texans provided a lot of the framework for this to go down, that they arranged a lot of the massages, that Deshaun Watson saw 66 masseuses in this time, that the Texans set up the VIP membership or whatever to this club where a lot of this <laughs> happened. So there's a lot of plausibility that the Texans might have played a part in this indiscretion. Um, I'm going to let you guys talk about it, and then I'm going to give my take, which you guys will probably disagree with. But whoever wants to step up to the plate here and talk about this, and uh, if we're not legal experts, but um, I would like I'm to not hear a what legal you guys expert. have to say. I'm not a legal expert, but can someone let me know if it's normal? Because I really don't know the answer to this. Is it normal to give out NDAs when you're getting a massage? Can someone let me know if that's normal? Because I, I didn't sign one. I've never signed an NDA when I got a massage. I, I really don't know. Like, let me know if this is a normal occurrence or not. I've uh, only had I, one massage in my life, and it was a couple's massage with the wife. 
and uh yep, you definitely signed an nda i that. did not sign an nda oh, okay. now they make you sign a lot of paperwork i think that basically says you if they turn you into brandon perna right here sore from the massage like that you won't sue them but i don't know if that includes that's like a waiver that, yeah that you're not gonna talk about no whatever like, happened the more information that's coming out the more i'm like why would you why would you do that i'm not tom what are you thinking i'm looking at your face what because i feel like we're on the same page for this this like oh, this is, is gross i mean i thought it was gross before this so i mean it just seems like when you have <laughs> watson's lead attorney going on i think it was that radio show oh and he's just like listen listen happy endings aren't illegal okay as long as you don't pay for them and then he starts talking about making people uncomfortable like that's right like he the grand jury happened said like there's no criminal charges but like there still is like there's a whole moral aspect of it but just everything looks bad and the thing that is being added to this now is now are the Texans going to be held somewhat liable for this? Because the Texans, and I know many Texans fans who are just like, thank God we're done now. Like we get to wash our hands of him. We got our three first round picks. Thank God. So all the news that comes out, it's not going to impact me anymore. And then here you go. Deshaun Watson is saying eh, it's going to be a problem. So, um, Here's the thing. Here's my opinion, right? Because so, it's rep. Wait, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. We can't just put that? that up with no context. Like represented by the same attorney, that doesn't mean a. Yeah, that these are so, twenty-four completely different people who like ha are professionals and non-professionals alike who are coming through. Like, but I believe Busby is representing them all, but that's not that's not no. But that's what I'm saying. Like that doesn't mean anything. Right, right. That's not atypical. Like usually when you join a class action suit, why would you go out and get your own attorney Correct. when one of them's done all the paperwork? Like you would just jump on in on that. My only thing is like how culpable all are the Texans? Because in a lot of cases, a team will handle a player's physical therapy right they'll handle their massage like and they might lump massages into that i just i have i would find it very hard to believe that the texans knew what watson was doing like if they knew about this especially someone like easterby um who or or maybe they found out and that's why they wanted to trade him i don't know but it's very easy, I think, for the Texans to deflect this. To name them in the lawsuit Two things. seemed Two things. very yeah. superfluous. One, they did not want to trade him. Yeah, they didn't want to. Okay. Two, did. at least one guy probably knew something because the reason they gave Watson the NDAs is because he went to them and said, this woman is trying to bring me down on social media. She's going to say that I did these things during the massage. And that's the guy who gave Watson the NDAs. So I think at least one person there knew. <laughs> Sorry, Scooter. Sorry, Scooter. This is, this is a new thing. Um, in, in, I do in understand that like there is a court of public opinion. You are innocent until proven guilty in the United States of America. I get all of that. Okay, I understand. But when you hear some of the testimony from coming out of some of these women, bro, like to me, that's where I'm starting to be like, okay, I don't know at this point because this, it's getting weird. It's getting weird. And it's like, for me to sit up here and say, I, I don't going? believe. I where, don't where, believe. Can I don't we believe get a, a, a donation CD, check real F quick? I know, I, he I, is $65 away from getting the pink shirt and $1,065 away from no shirt. Again, the links are in the description in all of our chats, our chats and also our descriptions. So go uh, mm -hmm. check that out, donate to a good cause. And Perna will get half naked. Okay, so so say the, Texans, <laughs> say the Texans don't get dragged in this. The biggest conversation that I have seen is that if say Watson, you know, this goes to trial or whatever, and he is found guilty, does the trade get negated Ooh, and elephant. Watson is essentially, you know, cut and all the picks go back to the Texans. Like it, the, the trade is completely invalidated or the Texans or well, whatever happened. Didn't they get 
this year's first round pick from the Browns, so they already picked somebody. Yes, oh, they did. Right. So, so that like, cannot they be undone. They can't be undone. <laughs> they Great just kicked that person out of the league. <laughs> They're just right. like, sorry, rookie, you're gone now. Too bad. <laughs> I, I just don't snap don't him out see, of existence. I don't see there being a scenario of takesy backsies. Like, this is done. Like, it's over. They guarantee the con- Like, no one should bail out the Browns for being idiots. And that is what they were. The one thing that just Can blows we? my entire mind. Let's about this, talk about this. Hold on. Is if they guaranteed two hundred and thirty million dollars, they couldn't pay a private investigator ten thousand to go follow up so on well, some leads. I see. I think no, they could have. They could have done all that. I think as soon as it says like, "Hey, there's gonna be no criminal stuff," they were like, "Okay, guys, let's jump into it. Like we're good now because there's no criminal aspect, so like it's okay." You gotta remember there are other teams interested in it. So Falcons, how, Saints, Panthers. How can you guarantee without due diligence? This is neglect on the part of multiple football teams. Not just the uh not but just it's teams, not, not though, just the Scooter. Browns. But it's not because they are choosing to do that. And if because the Browns made a conscious choice because they knew it as soon as that they signed him, they made a conscious choice going, listen, the court of public opinion, the blowback that we're going to get, it's worth it to potentially get a Super Bowl. I'm not saying that's right. I'm not saying that's moral, but that is the active business decision that they made saying if we go win a Super Bowl and in two years, quite if nothing comes of this, you know, in terms of like what the NFL suspending or whatever, within two years, I mean, unfortunately, like people are going to stop talking about this, especially if they're winning. I feel like, to me, that is still negligent uh, behavior. Despite, it's still negligent behavior. You're just oh, saying we don't care. Do you we think don't that this will be Pink resolved shirt, in two years? Like we've got a long legal know. road ahead of us. Twenty-four cases. The all real that question is this. I feel. When does real Deshaun quick, real Watson quick, twenty four thousand dollars been raised for Perna? So Perna, that pink shirt gets to oh, come yeah. on up. There you go. Oh, yeah. You're about to say yeah, something. It, well, I was about to say too. Um, do they keep him suspended for as long as the trial goes on, or does he just settle That's out of court? Admitted. Exactly. My thing is, I feel like he settles out of court, is, and it's just like turns into like you know a Ben Roethlisberger situation where it's like mentioned, but it's like everything's settled, and like you, they can't really punish him anymore. The real That's question the thing. is, when does Deshaun Watson play again? <laughs> When's the first time Deshaun Watson gets on a football field again? Is that Just watch season? it week one in the preseason. Just watch so it. So here's that. the thing. Right? Do we really think away. it's going to be this season? Do we think Deshaun Watson plays football this year, chat, yes or no? I don't think so. Uh, I think the thing is that we're all forgetting, though, with all these allegations, oh. by the way, $100 from Jerwa. Oh, uh, Watson, this is not a criminal case. This is he's being sued for monetary gains here. So he could go out and just stroke one check and the lawsuit is done. Right. I mean, it's up to him to really if he wants to settle it or have it go to a jury where they just award that settlement to him, which I think is probably the way the plaintiffs want to go. I think they I'm want a- to get it to trial. Um, I might have to switch to push ups, guys. This is really <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's, pull-ups. that's 70 pull ups, which is still Slot. fewer than the masseuses Deshaun Watson seeked out individually. Think about that. Well, <laughs> at least your story has a happy ending. You're donating tens of thousands of dollars. Nice, girl the there. Just nice <laughs> metaphor there. I, I dig wow. it. Mm-hmm. It's a great shirt, Perna. Right. Yes, yeah, it was my grandma's it hot. Oh, yeah, it's you it 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 very well. And Brandon, can we get some squats with you facing the wall? Can I don't get... care what anyone <laughs> says. This is one of you the perf. best live stream shows on the internet. I there do not go. care oh, wow. what anyone says. The, could you sign an NDA before you do that, though? <laughs> I mean, I we're tech. Are we? Pay- we're not technically paying him, right? So like, <laughs> right. Right. So <laughs> that close up in there. Uh, there you go. I mean, there you go. dude has a wagon. <laughs> That's all I have to say. <laughs> he has a wagon. <laughs> $980 to go until it's shirtless, baby. The best thing well, is now I can we know see his now we know what Five and Brandon did when they were in Denver last October. There was a <laughs> you lot ever of see uh, that movie. Two man squats. Two yeah. man squats. What's weird about that? 
I just yeah. know, like, it I just want to know how home. Tree got into Perna's basement. Like, was that something <laughs> I, that was planned ahead I, of time? It was, or? it was a little bit of that. And also, uh, I'm technically kidnapped right now. So if someone can please donate $10,000 to the terrorists that have taken me hostage, uh, please do it immediately. Uh, uh, they currently Only are, one charity, uh, are feeding me slop and slime. And uh, it's getting pretty cold and dark out here. So uh, if anybody can help me out, please, I, I appreciate it. Same All right, go. trying to get in that hundo. All right, we switch it to push-ups. Do right, we have any form. more takes on this whole Deshaun Watson and Texan? Like the te uh, let's really focus on the Texan. I'm though. curious on just how Goodell is going to handle some type of punishment yes. because he is going to get a wave of bad PR regardless of what he does. No matter, yeah, no matter what, what happens. Because he... you know, even if they suspend him the year, right? If they just go, hey, you're gone for the year, then people immediately are gonna go, Well, Calvin Ridley got suspended for a year for gambling on a game that he was not even a part of, wasn't even near the team. Like right. there's no way out for the NFL. Well, Zeke... That Zeke makes got six good. games, and that it, it wasn't even brought right there. This man, I hope so. Right, this they're going to bring up Trevor Bauer. They'll be like, "Oh, Trevor Bauer got two years for one accuser," you know, and and uh, uh, Deshaun Watson gets one year for twenty four. Like that's hypocritical. Like uh, it's 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 insane. It's insane. I think they do something where they come down hard and then let the appeal process go through. You know, yeah. maybe three years reduced to one and a half. Uh, I don't think they'd go that much. I don't well, think they'd they, do go one year three. because remember, Cleveland paid a $1 million salary. So yep. most of his guaranteed money wasn't taken by the suspension. We're so about they to find out first. how powerful the Haslam family is. Like, oh, dude, they, they got can... out of like a, a massive corruption scandal with Pilot Flying J. That's and true. if they can get out of that, true. they'll probably get out of this. Uh -huh. Speaking of getting out of things, let's pivot to the Nets next subject. I've got a great pivot. thing. We're talking about the NHL playoffs here. Mm -hmm. The Rangers and the Lightning. The Lightning going for a three-peat. Brandon go. Avalanche are already in the final. They're already there. They get to relax. They get to be on a vacation right now. Game five is tonight Game from five. New York where so the Rangers sorry. will be taking – on the greedy ass lightning who don't need to win a third cup. I don't chill. Y'all really, could just let us win. Chill. We're going and for the three Pete, then the four Pete. Has that ever been done? A four yes, Pete? The Islanders. Yep. Uh, Islanders and the, um, I think what the about Canadians a five did, Canadians like did in one like six in a row or something like that. Six in a row? Away. Yes. Mm -hmm. But that was when there was only like eight teams. So what Listen. the heck? Seven hundred twenty dollars left. Links are in the description. How about this, guys? Brandon, come get in frame so you can hear. Here, don't drink. I don't need you to hydrate. Um, Let him hydrate. Say more creatine. Here's the thing. Out of the three of us here on this top third, our teams are still alive. Two of us are going to get disappointed, right? Not me. Maybe all three of you Those get disappointed. That lose. I say you should have to get. This haircut, <laughs> if you lose, this Why? is Paul Bissonette. Why the, is that a thing? The Why? announcer, I forget, he lost a bet and he had to shave his head like Dr. Phil. Why do you uh, want us to do that? You can't do that. I become more like you, Five. Why My hair is how I make a living. Into you? How five about you just... get the bald cap? And place really? that on. You can get those on um, Amazon. Can't cut this. I mean, Stay he did give himself a monkey beard. Never give up. <laughs> Two more reps. Squat till you crap out your rectum. That's how you get fit, <laughs> Can This, this, this just becomes something. Five, set up the NHL playoffs for pop not out hockey rectum. watchers. Who are the teams remaining? What's happening? Because I'll, I'll be honest, if I were watching this stream as a non-NHL watcher, I would have no idea what's going on. So you can wear this. You can just playoffs. order this bald cap and wear it, Brandon. <laughs> you stop, stop trying to avoid the uh, the it, the. Let, let, let him let him do his thing. Let him do I his mean, thing. I'll wear the Adam right. cap. <laughs> All right, tree. Tell us who's left in these playoffs. Yeah, set, so set it up. There for are us, certain tree. situations. There was the Edmonton Oilers. 
they came with high-end talent to plenty. Guys like Connor McDavid and Leon Dreisaitl. Unfortunately, they had a goaltender that was kind of hit or miss and a team defense that was pretty rough. So the Colorado Avalanche just went in there with a Zamboni and ran them all over. There's a lot of blood on the ice. It's pretty bad. It's um, It was a 4 nothing sweep. So uh, Brandon's team is currently doing push-ups to prep for the finals. Meanwhile, these two guys, right? I, I can't do this right here. There, I'm not, I'm not in there. So uh, Mr. Five Points had a 2 nothing series lead at home with the New York Rangers, and they've come back from several like series deficits just because that's how the Rangers roll. But at this point in time, it came back to Tampa Bay. Tampa Bay has won two straight. They look pretty good. So we're having game six, five tonight. And then there's going to be a pivotal game six on Saturday, regardless of which team wins. So, you know what? We've got some plenty of good action hockey right now. It's better than the NBA. So I've Hold been on. saying that for a long time. Hold on. Okay. Let me just say something. Okay. He's right. <laughs> He's right. Because <laughs> the NBA playoffs this year have been terrible. Bro. What the heck? We can get into that after this. Everybody's injured. But, like, NHL hockey, for those of you who have never watched hockey, is something to behold. I am saying that as a black man, okay? We don't watch that much hockey. There's not that much hockey in the black community. It's dope. I'm telling well, you, watch it's actually pretty fun. playoff hockey. Okay, it, it is fun to watch. It's even the more fun is like when your local team is the gosh darn bolts and they keep Winning. I don't care. Call me a band. Mm -hmm. I don't care. We're winning. Fair enough. Sit and the thing down. is, these NHL playoffs haven't been that optimal. You've had like a lot of series only go four or five games. So, yeah. This, this is actually one of the best series right here. I think Unless you're the it, Rangers. It, it, the Rangers it, it, just keep on pushing it to game seven. So, here's the thing. If the Rangers come out flat like they did in game four, they're in trouble tonight. I think it's a little different. They play different on home ice. They're, they, they're going to, I mean, they're banging New York up. water. That's the problem is Heedle is hurt. He's, he's a straw that stirs the drink. Um, who else got hurt last game? Uh, Ryan Strom wasn't able to go. Strom so we missed, we were missing two centers last game. So we're, yeah. we were down. I think if they have the full squad tonight yeah, and everyone's team. healthy, the bolts are going to have trouble with the kid line and hopefully um, things go right. But the, the lightning are a tough out. That's all I have to say. They are they're not gonna just lay down. And uh I could see this game this easily going to seven. Um Lightning yeah. suck. I That's think if the uh, Rangers lose tonight, they're done. Brandon, so. would you be interested in doing like a if the Lightning make it NHL uh NHL two K type situation? Oh yeah. One v one? Of course. Of course. In in Scooter. Or we can do it, Brandon, with the Rangers. If the Rangers make it. It's not all about you, Scooter. There you go. That's what everyone okay. wants. Wow. Yep. Okay. There we go. There's yep. the full front. Yep. That's the ticket That's right worth there. A thousand dollars. Just looking oh into God. the eye of Sauron. Um, we're gonna. Who have to needs make the women on the Sports Illustrated NBA. swimsuit issue? We got right. this right here, man. That was the Sean hopping up on the massage table. We need table. to bring on a woman guest next. He's this seven hundred and twenty dollars away. Mm -hmm. It's uh, Oh I feel goodness. like we've made very, very many confused sexualities on this show. Yeah. We have I Brandon really shaking sorry. his twerk. We have, you know, Scooter in a cheerleading yeah. costume. We have Tom in a maid out. That, good. that made my foot cramp. <laughs> I feel sorry for whoever joined the stream right at that moment. They're like, well, let's <laughs> on clickbait. I think we just Watch lost all your time. subs go through the roof. Yes. The taint cam, everyone. Honestly, there, Brandon, yeah. you should get a Twitch. That go, goes pretty well there. <laughs> All right, let's pivot to the NBA playoffs. The Celtics cheated. I oh. do not oh, okay. understand. They cheated. Their hoop no, was didn't. two inches above where it should be. How do you do that in a finals game, though? Like, I'm confused. It's two like inches is a lot. A playoff game. Do you know how much two inches is? Like no, I, I heard know. these stories about Kobe Bryant. He was practicing. I feel better now. I uh, <laughs> I think the I think the rim's a half inch off. Two inches, bro. What what's going on? I can That's dunk a clip on that. right there. Of Scooter saying, that. "Do you know how big two and inches?" You dunk is? on a regulation rim. It's look. It's it's touch and go. Okay, oh. it depends. I, did I stretch before or no? Okay, it it depends. I'm just saying. Okay, like. 
league game, something where you're loose, you know, like you get a fast break, are you dunking? Absolutely not. We're doing strong lay. Uh, not right now. I need to do maybe some a, Brandon maybe a workout. Where you touch the backboard. Is that what you're going to do right there? Oh, oh, we're slapping glass all day. We are slapping glass. <laughs> okay. Slapping the bass. Yes. Slapping the bass, man. Slapping uh, the bass. Here's the other thing. What? Because I fell asleep during the last game because 9 p.m. is too rich for me. Like, I'm I'm old. All right. I'm like 9. <laughs> I can't stay past 9 up 9 p.m. Why did the Celtics win? Why aren't the Warriors win? I would think that at Clay and Steph, it would be splash time over. I don't think I, I could be wrong, Boston. I just don't see them being as deep or as experienced as Golden State. Why are they winning for those who are informed? So, just laugh. Who, who watched the game? Who all watched the game? Tree, were you able to watch the game last night? NBA. I watched a little bit of it, but Tom, I wasn't able did you to see, watch it. Tom. Were you able to see some of it? I watched the Lion King at one o'clock in the morning. Nice. What oh, happened? Which one? The cry? animated no or the uh, new one? No spoilers. Honestly, no. Like that movie was my favorite Disney movie, and now that movie's forever changed for me in a negative way. Why? Wow. I mean, because they, oh, they, because they you figured out you film theory did. Yeah, so, like, again, there's only two males in that entire movie besides oh, Simba, and I that is Mufasa I did yeah, see and Scar. And they, and I was corrected, saying that Scar was exiled, meaning that the only dude who's impregnating all these lions is Mufasa, meaning that Nala and Simba are related. They are half-siblings. And no, I was 1.30 in the morning. Not necessarily. Not necessarily. What do you mean not necessarily? They could, they could have come what? from another... Yeah, from another. Yeah, um, that, happens, know what? that happens in God. nature. That ha- cross, Maybe cross it was a minor league bus came in with lions and they just. Yeah, the it. lions. Yeah. Time, basically, Tom, basically, what I'm saying is, can yeah. you hear the love tonight is playing and you hear the faint sound of a banjo? Like it's just, it's right there. So, it <laughs> it ruined my life. That's are we? Like, did we? Are we there? We're are we 720 away. 720. Yeah, 720. Let's get there. Let's go. 720. Yes. Chat. Yes, Excellent. All pitch. Listen, I, Tom, I don't think you understand how big Africa is. Okay. Like there's a lot of lions in Africa. All right. It just, That's yes. One. But, but, but how lions work in nature and systematize. But, but Tom, <laughs> you're not life. taking into account the You have fact. the male and the, the head of the pride. You don't know where no, the other but, pride is. They could do a lion yeah, exchange on like be. the fifth. Of the month or something. And not only ah, that, the but Detroit you don't know which come lions in signed they, the NDAs uh, you know, and which lions did not sign the NDAs. Okay? We don't know which lions signed the NDAs. Yeah. Based okay. on your yeah. math, I'm though. just saying, uh, you yeah, know what? Maybe Muflasa had 66 masseuses, and they allowed them Hold to have on. a happy ending. Hold on. Hold the phone. Holding. Okay? Right there. Who is Nala's dad? Mufasa! This is the right internet. Right you there. cannot believe anything right on there. the internet. And I'm on the Disney website. I wrote this. <laughs> That's the wiki, though, man. That's the yeah. object. I wrote it's, this. It's Nala Mufasa's daughter. Ma- yeah, hey, maybe Nala's dad. Lion. An was the daughter of the daughter in law. Daughter in law. Daughter in law. Why are we talking about dad. the Lion King? Law. Click they it. could be, it. in fact, half brother and half going. sister. Just saying. That's a valid theory. I will allow the theory. I don't know. I don't want it to be right. I want this to actively be wrong. It could right? be wrong. I, I, like do, I, I didn't onion. want this in my on my mind at 2 a.m., but but it's there now. That's fair. That's fair. Okay. That is fair. We were but talking back to the NBA, though. JR, I agree with you. Back to the uh, NBA, though. Yes. I believe the Warriors are losing because of one person, and his name is... Draymond Green, okay? At least for last night. This man (laughs) had two points and did a lot of talking. It's kind of weird if you've been following these finals. The Warriors have been kind of going how Draymond Green literally goes. So if Draymond Green has had a good game, the Warriors win. If Draymond Green sucked, game one, they lost. Game three, they lost. Two points, quadruple double, with garbage numbers, like it, quadruple single. It was bad. It was not good. So in my opinion, it's coming down to a couple of players. Draymond on the Warriors, because Steph's going to be Steph regardless. Steph's been being Steph. And then it comes down to Marcus Smart on the Celtics. And Marcus Smart has been bullying 
people. And when Marcus Smart has a or bad flopping. game, the oh, Celtics yeah. suck. So, Tree, what are you seeing? I'm mainly seeing the fact that I can't think of anything else besides Lion King incest now because it's just <laughs> it's, it's, it's a it's a, it listen it's, it's just it's, it's, on your brain and you don't want yeah. it there. Yeah. Well, look, like I, I could think of like what is Draymond Green like the Mufasa of the, uh, the Warrior <laughs> Pride or and maybe and maybe uh, Jason Tatum is like the scar and he has to bring back and maybe Jason Tatum's gonna kill. Uh, Draymond Green saying, long live the king. Is, is okay. Okay. We're, for, we're in a weird place Nala? right now. We're is in a weird it? place. Let's bring it back. Draymond Green has a podcast. I want to get your guys' take on this because this is actually what a lot of people are discussing. So I want to hear how you guys feel about it. Draymond Green has a podcast. And he's been doing his podcast every night, even after wow. he loses. Respect even after Brian. he wins. He will literally get a microphone. And you can watch on YouTube, and he'll discuss, hey, you know, these are this is what the Celtics <laughs> did really good last night. They did this really well. I thought we were – I thought they were going to be doing this really well, and then they did it. Draymond Green. Kirsten, no. It's how the sports do it, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> they want to keep Green the bloodline blood pure. But the question is this. <laughs> how do you think athletes <laughs> should respond to this? Another athlete doing a podcast – in season, like Dray- how do you think his Draymond teammates Green are feeling? Needs to learn to train during his podcast, just like me. True, <laughs> he really should. Can Why can't Draymond Green do it? Think I could it. literally beat Draymond Green at basketball because I can do this. I'm pretty sure that's accurate. Mm-hmm. So, what do you guys think, though? Do should players be doing podcasts during the season because it's, a lot of people are calling into question his uh <laughs> what's it called <laughs> a, a lot of people are calling into question his uh what what's the word dedication you, yes his, his dedication they're saying you're not focused oh, you're losing you you scored two points and you're doing a podcast but he's doing it your after the game, correct? So like after he can't game. proactively, like retroactively, go back and score more points. Nope. So like I don't see how that's impacting his dedication. He's playing the game oh. and then doing it after the game is concluded. It's not like he's stopping mid-game, calling a timeout, and he's like, "Hold on, coach. All right, guys, this uh, this stream is brought yeah, to he's you not by vlogging like, during the game. Yeah. Like, it, this stream is currently brought to you by HelloFresh. So, uh, get sixteen no free by like, going no, to like, Draymond Green. Got like, postered." If it's halftime or something, like I could see, okay, like there, there may be a problem there because you should be focusing on being on with the team and in the locker room. After the game, I don't care if it literally the whistle just went off and you're like, okay, now I go back on my podcast because why not? That's very interesting because if you've looked at some other players and how they approach the playoffs in the past, a LeBron will literally <laughs> do a social media uh, hiatus. He will literally remove himself from Twitter. He won't tweet till his team is out of it. So, uh, go on. Oh, no, no. Tom, your title of the stream is wrong, by the way. You still have the old title from Yeah, because we just did the Deshaun Watson one yesterday, so I wanted to mix it up so it could be a little bit more. Oh, okay. And, and so we have not talked about that at all. No, we'll talk about it. It's fine. It's okay. easy. It's easy. Sorry. I did. I just dis- de- derailed you, Scooter. Um, I, I don't have a problem with it. I just I feel like if that's the way that he unwinds after a game to talk about it, he's going to talk about it with his friends, right? So why not? Put it on podcast. Um, if they lose, though, that's going to be thrown in their face forever. If they win, it was the magic of Draymond's podcast that did it. Accurate. Did any of you guys see the clip last night? Because a reporter and Draymond got into it over his podcast, actually. Yep. And he was like saying, listen, win or lose, y'all are going to get this podcast. So, Tree, how do you feel about that? A player saying, look, what I do in my off time should not matter. I mean, to be fair, he's right. If he wants he's to you know, right. secure, the, secure the grind, do a podcast at the same time, you know what? If it doesn't prevent him from you know performing his duties as a basketball player, like if he's doing it during the basketball game, then there's a problem. But if he's doing it after or before or – you know, before training or that sort, that, that's absolutely fine. There, there are pro basketball players, pro athletes that stream on Twitch. So yeah, that's Brandon absolutely going to make it. The podcast is to do is literally the easiest thing in the world. You just sit down and you talk. 
and he knows about basketball. Official take doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, podcasting is pretty easy. Especially Look at this so screen. Dumpster fire. How easy this is. <laughs> so this actually not for you, man. Brings us to another point that I'd like to touch on, just briefly, if I may. Uh-oh. Um, uh oh, I'm Uh-oh. scared. Uh oh, I am <laughs> heavily afraid. He's bringing out the gimp gear. <laughs> Brandon, what's the safety God. word? Someone cue the 80s music. <laughs> this it's reminds me of the scene from Perfect, right? With John Travolta and Jamie Lee Curtin. Y'all don't know. Oh, yeah, face That's, off. Yes, no, yeah, no, no. Let me yeah. finish this thought. Jimmy Lee Curtis and John Volpe switch faces. Whatever you guys want to talk yes. about. Um, All right. Oh. Let me finish this. Yeah, let's just finish this finish thought, it. and then we can move on. Did any of you guys see Stephen A. Smith recently get roasted by uh, – what's this, basketball player? Oh, Should CJ help McCollum me out? and um, J- uh, Reddick. Yep, those two. Reddick, yeah. Did you guys see this? Because the what's happening – is that a lot of players now are starting to enter into these broadcast roles, these analyst roles, and a lot of these players have got a lot to say about what these analysts have been doing, mainly J.J. Reddick. This man has been laying down the law. I don't know if you guys have been seeing these clips, so I want to get your guys' takes. Is this the future of sports? Are we going to see more of these analysts just come on and be like, well, actually, that's not how any of us feel in the locker room. We actually think this. And it's actually sort of refreshing to see this new, like, oh. uh, You're seeing more access to the players, maybe too much that we've never had this level of access. At some point, they might mic up the benches and you can hear them talking. Like, that's going to be too much. You see on the MLB Why? broadcast. Why do you think that's too much, though? Because I don't want to hear about them talking about which girl that they hooked up with or what they're doing. But they after. don't, right? Like, I think there's a level of, like, fakeness that goes along with it because you literally tell, like, your teammates when you're mic'd up, right? It's so true. Like, it is because, different. Like, it is different see. when you're mic'd up. And, like, that, I, I go back and forth on it because sometimes there's, like, some good pieces in there. But I feel like a lot of the times, like, you look at these, like, interviews with, like, coaches or players as they're going in for half or something. Like, they don't care. There's, they say, like, some generic, oh, yeah, you know, we got to play better uh, on the boundary and then, uh, you know, really got to take uh, advantage of the opportunities and, uh, okay, thanks, bye. Like, it's there is a level of, like, fakeness that's there because it's just, like, I, I have to do this because it's part of the job requirement and let me just get through it. But, I mean, anytime you could see some, I guess – like actually see like what it looks like like the lions for example like they just put out like their whole draft video and like seeing like their boardroom and stuff like i thought that was awesome like because i'm just interested in that stuff but like the whole let me ask you some questions while you're in the middle of the game that you're just going to give general answers to man Ooh, miking up the umpires you want to hear angel hernandez tell some guy that he uh, just punched out on a fastball 10 inches outside the plate that he sucks and he should go back to the bench sure Sure, I think something that a lot of fans would like to see, let me know if I'm wrong here, but halftime, like if I'm listening to the, if, they, if they're not telling like secrets, even if they are telling like secrets, I want to know like what is happening in this halftime? What is Jason Garrett telling these people in the locker room five years ago that we come out and get bodied three more touchdowns? Like what, what was said? I'm not sure. Yes, this is what he's saying. Like, yeah, but this in this everyone getting yelled at, dude. Era, you know how it was in high school locker rooms. There's I, never I been more devices to capture media than now. And so I think more and more in the future, you're just going to see that over and over again of everything's going to come out eventually. Anyways, you should be treated. We should all act like we're on camera all the time. Anyways, maybe we'll become better people. Not Brandon, but most of us. All right, uh, one last thing I want to talk Hello. about. Rams? Hello, microchips planted in athletes' brains so we know what they're thinking. <laughs> bye, Perna. Oh, oh and there goes – bye, Brandon. That was you talking about the Rams? Parting shot. Yes. Can we talk – the Rams signed Cooper Cup. And there Aaron is Donald. no salary cap. How do they keep doing this, Tom? The salary How do they cap keep well, signing again, so like, I, I put out a very facetious tweet and just like, where are they getting all the money for this? Because they did just make two like enormous deals with two great players. But really, they're just pushing it into the future. I mean, it is obviously 
estimated that you're going to see the cap go up tremendously over the next couple of years because of the TV deals, the gambling, that money that's going to hit there. You know, that's not to mean that you could just spend frivolously, but at the same time, you know, you're you're basically opening the window a little bit longer. The Packers are doing it right now with the guys like Aaron Rodgers, and eventually, like it's gonna come due. You know, the cap isn't real. Yeah, like it's funny because you it's, can it's see social teams manipulate the cap, but eventually, like they're gonna have to. Like yeah. something's gonna well, happen. They'll restructure and they'll keep people. doing it over and over and over and over. Sure, but eventually That's they true. have to pay it. Right. So like they can restructure it all they want, but eventually they're going to have to pay the money and there's going to be cap casualties that will come of it. Speaking of cap casualties, the (laughs) Dallas Cowboys actually have a lot of money right now and we're just sitting on it. We have over $20 million in cap space. We could go sign someone right now. Why aren't we doing it? I'm seeing Cowboys fans all day talking about do something front office. And then I, I read another think piece, and they're like, well, this is why the Cowboys aren't signing anyone. It's because next season, they're looking at keeping a Tyron Smith or an Ezekiel Elliott. They're preparing right now to keep one of those players. Isn't so Dalton Schultz like pissed with them right now and it's not? Yes. Dalton Schultz is very upset because he's getting the same treatment Randy Gregory got. He's <laughs> getting the same treatment Amari Cooper got and he's just saying i i just, I just don't see I don't why know. you would sign ezekiel to what a third deal like that just i agree with it though that's just insane that you would just i mean give a running you back know what? A third I'd, I'd be fine with that I mean, yeah I'd i think it's a great idea Every actually you know what would absolutely be fine with that. you know what give him the max deal give him the maximum that he deserves so he can jump in the um salvation army thing again for whatever $35 million a year. This for season one is going to be very interesting. A lot of big decisions will be made for the Dallas Cowboys this year. That will shape the future of the franchise for the next five years. So it's going to be a very interesting season. Brandon. It's countdown time, boys. I don't Welcome. know what happened. I had oh, to switch God. to the other. Oh, by the way, uh, Ben Lepper uh, said uh, about 10 minutes ago, thanks for ruining my childhood. Yeah, I just saw that. <laughs> yes, yes, we did. Yeah, we we right. have ruined that man's childhood. Where are we on the donations? And then we got to do the punishment countdown. Well, no, don't we do the punishment countdown now and then? Oh, yeah, okay. Let's just do the punishment countdown now. It's time, baby. Doing so many push ups yeah. and you guys can't <laughs> see, so you're just going to have 20, to. 20, 19, that 18, 17, 16, 15, 4. We were all hoping for Pern to throw that shirt on the floor. Because when he raised money for charity, we all score. Because we get to see those group we've never seen before. Oh, the moaning just made it. The moaning just makes it. I'll start off. You're going to get tell your dreams. We're at 1799. I appreciate you guys, chat. Let's go. I made $12. She loses. $12. Thank Let's you. Let's go. If if all the money that I was supposed to get went to the Alzheimer's Association, I am with it. Worth it. I am okay with yeah, that. I agree I'm with perfectly that. Perfectly fine with that. I think one of them was like a $20 that I want them to redo. I was supposed to be for charity, but it's like 70 bucks. Let's Brandon. go and oh, oh I got hold on, hold on, Brandon. Tom, Tom. Tom? No, I lost. It's fine. <laughs> Brandon, Brandon, I got two ninety six, but I'm putting that towards. Oh my the, god, uh, I did! It. I got two thirty three ninety five. Oh my god, no, I lost. but mine's for charity. Yes! Yes! For ch- no, 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 doesn't mean that the score wasn't what it was. You don't just give the points away. No, sir. Double punishment. <laughs> Next week, you're going to have to do your workout in a weighted vest. That's how I usually do a bra. <laughs> on you. I think we should have to go to a CrossFit class. Chet, knowing what you know, knowing that the money will be going to charity, make a punishment for Brandon Perna. Keep in mind, the punishment can Ooh, be a positive punishment. I have one. Keep that in mind. 
Mm. Brandon has to do something with Walmart because Walmart has oh. purchased the Denver Broncos. Mm. I feel like Brandon should have Can to wear that outfit. Commercial? I feel like he should have to go grocery shopping in the current outfit that he has on. Oh, that's not bad. It's not, not bad. bad. Like and how, like can you please stand up and do a twirl for us, Brandon, so we can see the outfit that will be worn in the Walmart. Honestly, that wouldn't even be like a top 10 weird outfit in Walmart it right now. It wouldn't be like, top 50, yeah. honestly, in Denver. Yeah. Hell no. Like, eh, it depends on where in Denver, though. If you're out I in think like, the countryside, you maybe. Have, you should go gross. You should go buy diapers and whatever essentials that you need. And have uh, you know? Part of, we're paying for you to run errands. <laughs> yeah, we would like you to run yeah, errands. That's, that's in that exact true. outfit, and then post the video next week. Jess has Fair been enough. asking me to pick up a few things, so like this actually works out pretty well. <laughs> you should probably yeah. go right now while you have the outfit on and you're sweaty. You know. I well, I used to wear this shirt to the bars in college, so you yeah. <laughs> got shit on me. <laughs> that's how you met your wife. Mm -hmm. oh, I love All right, like, hey. I'll put a Bronco hat on too, just so everybody knows which team I'm <sighs> pulling for. That's so oh. I know that Tom's opening line at the next time he goes out is going to be, "So did you know that Nala was Simba's half sister?" <laughs> yeah, that's accurate. Yeah, that's because yeah. that's what everyone wants to hear. <laughs> Guys, right. so, this was we, clickbait. Come back we get next a, week. Oh. Can we get an update on the charity, Brandon? Oh, yeah. 720 um, last time I saw. We were at, yeah, 24,280. So 24, we, got, we, got, we, raised, so we raised over a grand. So nice job. Yeah, let's go. We're All right. be putting in the 300. So that's, we're, yeah, we're close. I'll there get there. I'll get All right, there. So you're putting in the 300. So maybe we have the shirtless punishment for a next time. Maybe if that happens. Mm -hmm. During the stream, yeah, it's twenty four three oh five. It'll be twenty four six hundred. So we're only four hundred short. Good job, yeah. boys. Yeah, thank Bye you guys for donating. Oh. It's a cause important to my family. My sister works for the charity, so I vouch for how they use their money. Uh, really appreciate it. You guys yeah. are the best. Yes, Let's go you're the best. Yeah. My father is suffering as well. It's yeah. been a six year battle. It's been really rough. So if we can find a cure or a treatment that is effective, I say uh, it's a worthy cause to donate to respect. Yeah. Thank you guys. I appreciate you. Let me do it too. Let's do it. Absolutely. All, All right. Absolutely. Y'all won't come back next week at the same time though. Y'all won't. Do, uh, is that a challenge? Scooter. I hope, so. I hope you do guys. What? Don't we have to end the show? 